Weasleys and welcome back to my channel. Let me just get this TV volume down right now. I am having a super chilled morning. It is now 10.25. Oh, my thing was rough. <laughs> my fleece was ruffling and it was because I had a fleece, a sweetie wrap in it. So um, I've had a super chilled morning. I'm just sat with a cup of tea and I've become obsessed. I went off biscuits but I've kind of I've gone back to the biscuits. I've gone for these white chocolate finger biscuits. I'm like literally, oh my gosh, I'm just so relaxed. I've got this morning on the TV. Lou's gone out to his training course because as you guys know, we're only here because Lou is doing a training course. It's like a, maybe I'll get him to tell you later on what it is, but it's like a boat training thing he's doing and it's all week. So it's right up until Friday. So we won't leave here till Friday evening. So this morning I'm just having a chilled out morning and I was going to be left here all day without a car but then Lou had like this brainwave and he was like Harriet why don't I just drive back and drop the car off on my lunch break and you drop me back off and I was like yeah but that's a great idea. There's actually a McDonald's about 25 minutes from here so I might get a cheeky McDonald's and not tell Lou. Oh I could get a McFlurry so who knows. The choices are endless but I'm going to have a cup of tea just now and watch this morning on the television. Guys I've been watching this morning it's about half past. About 11, just after 11 now. Lou is back from his course now. Um, he is back from his course and he's come back with the Fiatra. Um, so I'm just quickly getting ready and then I'm gonna drop him back off at his course. And then I am going to go to Morrison's, I think, and get a DVD or something. Why am I twisting my hair, I don't know. I'm gonna need a DVD or something. And because obviously there's only three of you here and there's not like really anything we can watch on the evening. Look how dark my roots are. Um, yeah, my hair's really dark there. I'm getting it done soon. Anyway, I'm gonna straighten top of my hair now, put a bit of makeup on, stick my shoes on and go and drop Lou off. I just get out of the house for an hour. That's what I'm gonna do. Maybe I'll go to McDonald's and get a book for you too. So that is me ready to go out. I'm just sort of waiting on Lou till he's finished his lunch. And I'm just looking out at the views because it's actually beautiful. Like the mountains and everything. It's so stunning. I love it. Like, let me show you the mountains. So it can get a little bit noisy with like the main road here but like we've got like the mountains or the snow and it genuinely doesn't give it justice to the beautiful it is let me see if i can zoom in look at that stunning let's go Boo. destination you <laughs> and I'm about to switch over and drive myself wait what is that water sports thing I keep seeing that it's a big swan pool is it swan on jam. flipping heck it's pretty neat inside it's a posh hotel this isn't it are you out the back here yeah I'm not doing that thing here oh it's alright huh? I'll manage oh my goodness <laughs> <laughs> What's going on here? So this is the view Lee's actually got while doing his car off, so it's pretty cool. My car has got so dusty that before I drive I'm gonna have to dust it. This is my pink fluffy duster that I just, you know, I just keep casually in my car. But, you know, any, oh gosh, there's someone coming up, but I take this pink fluffy duster thing off me because they're gonna give me a right weird look. Right, let's go before I get, I always see, I always watch too many murders and I always think that I'm gonna get like, flipping killed when I'm by myself. So, um, well, this weird guy is coming towards me. I'm gonna hit the road. Don't come in my car, please. Lock the doors. So, I've made it to Morrison's. I'm surrounded by people in cars. That's why I'm like really crotching. There's a lady in front of me. There's a lady, a man beside me in the car. And they're looking at me probably thinking, who is that girl speaking to? But actually, do you know what? I actually don't care. You can think I'm speaking to myself. Who cares? So, I'm just about to go into Morrison's. The, mission of morrison's trip is to see if we can get one dvd maybe two actually lose requested sci-fi dvd that's fine i might just tell like white lie and tell him that um there isn't any there and just buy the chick flicks and comedies um and second request is i want to get some frozen garlic mushrooms because they're going to sell them fresh i really fancy garlic mushrooms um basically i got some from tesco's ages ago and i just have craved them ever since and then we got them in a the takeaway as well ages ago and I just really want some garlic mushrooms. I was looking for them yesterday. Just couldn't find any in um, Aldi Home Bargains because I know Home Bargains has got like a frozen bit in this one I went to and couldn't find any. So I'm gonna hope that they've got 
frozen or any type of garlic mushrooms. So let's go. Guys, it's actually soaking wet and it's horrible weather. Let's get a basket. Guys, look what I found. They're fresh garlic mushrooms, but they've got like loads of different like little selections. There's so many different bits. But yeah, I got the garlic mushrooms. That is what I've literally been craving. There might be some frozen ones as well, so I'm gonna check. Oh, that looks really nice. Chicken pad thai. I don't need any more food, but yeah, it looks good. They've even got little pots of rice. See where we live. I know I work at a shop, but they don't have anything like this. What is going on here? They actually have loads of different noodle types for like, oh my gosh, I'm literally in noodle heaven. They've got shrimp noodles. What are these ones? Hot and spicy, no, they wouldn't be for me. But how cool is this? If you guys are like a noodle fan like me, literally go to Morrison's because they have so many different noodles. Like, flipping heck, look at this one here. These ones, look, what are they called? Mon... So cool. Them ones are gluten-free and organic, but like, literally, that has blown my mind. That's I've so cool. made it to the DVD, and there's like, quite a few like, brand new DVDs, and I've just got to like, choose which one I want. I'm gonna maybe try and get one that's like in the middle because they are quite expensive. Basically, they're not expensive, but they're expensive to say they're only gonna get washed, washed once, and then that'll be it. Do you know what I mean? So yeah. Got the garlic mushrooms and some of the little bits. Um, I'm still not that hungry, but I just feel like I need to go through the drive-through and just get a Fanta and some chips or something because I literally love the Fantas in um, McDonald's. But then I feel like I have to message Lou and see if he wants something. But um, I don't know. Will I do it? Will I not? Will I do it? Will I not? Who knows? It's right behind me. Well, I'm going to find out in two seconds because I bought ice cream in Morrison, so I'm going to have to literally get on the road quite fast because it is obviously, what's it called? It's going to melt. It's going to melt, Harriet. That is what's going to happen. I never got a DVD either, guys, because I just thought if they were £10 each and I couldn't decide which one I wanted. They weren't that amazing. I'm not going to waste money. So I was thinking in my head, get a Mackey D's on the way home. Should I? Oh, don't know. We have been back at the apartment now. I went back out to pick Lou up from his um, course. And now we're back at the apartment. It's literally, Lou, what's the time? Time update? 20 past five. 20 past five. And me and Lou are actually all cozied up in the apartment and we didn't get wine or gin. So I went over to Instagram and I was like, look guys, help a girl out. Wine's on my mind, gin's on Lou's mind. We didn't get it. We're only about five minutes from the shop, so I left it down to an Instagram poll to decide, do we go out and get gin on, and wine? Um, considering it's literally like five o'clock. We're speaking like old people. We're like, oh, it's getting late. It's dark outside. We haven't got the gin and wine. Who flipping cares? It's too much from the supermarket. We're on holiday. Well, mini break. So let me show you the poll. So Lou said if, where is it? Lou said it's got to be 10% no, that's going to be enough to stop him from going. 10% no. Oh Lou. It's now, we're going to give it for, leave it for a few more minutes, that's what I said. At the moment it's 12% no, 88% yes. And we're going to set a timer now for two minutes to see if it changes in that two minutes and then that's it, done. Voila. I'll put my Instagram below guys here so you can follow me but if you want to because if you watch my on YouTube I literally post every single day on Instagram and my Instagram name is add basically a princess long story behind that name I don't think I'm a princess well I kind of am but I don't think I am <laughs> right. grand reveal is thirty three people so far have said oh it's not gonna focus 33 people so far have said yes you're both away go drink and five people have said stick with your tea the meanie pants um so 87 percent yes 13 percent no and that's only that's been up it's been up for about 15 minutes so we're gonna um i think i'm gonna go out and get wine <laughs> we are back from the supermarket <laughs> supermarket i got the vino it was literally about, li I'm not even joking when I say this, but like literally two, like 100 odd, 150 people I think said, go get wine. And then a few boring people said, drink your tea. Because that was the other option was, drink tea. Yeah, Lou, look, 10% now say, is it focusing? 
10 percent say oh it's just switched to 11 but 10 percent say basically it, no it, it said 10 percent and then the minute i clicked on it, it went to 11 percent 89% said, get that wine down your neck. No, I didn't say that. They actually said, 89% said, yes, you're both away, have a glass of vino and gin. And then 11% said, no, stick with your tea. Well, we're going for the vino. Let's get it poured. Ready. I made some pasta. <laughs> Did you use what? I made some. Oh my gosh, this Lou, this this place is looking very messy. But there's not very like obviously when you're away, you just leave your suitcase on the floor. Mine's there. Lou's there. The bin lid doesn't work, so we had to like move it off the bin. Funnily enough, my mum was actually reading reviews about the place before we got here. She was laughing at like the bad reviews. My mum loves reading bad reviews about places. She's like, ha ha, who would moan about a bin lid not working? It's actually quite annoying. So uh, it's not the end of the world, but you've just got a bin lid showing. Anyway, not the topic of what I'm talk talking about. The place is really nice. I'm just showing you the pasta. Okay, so I put it back in. Loads of you ask about this pasta. I put it back in. Um, to heat it up. Lou always tells me not to leave it too long because it'll probably the plate will explode. But look at that. Oh my god. That is amazing. So oh my gosh, look at that. <laughs> Turn the oven off. That's a takeaway when you've got this pasta. Oh my gosh. It's basically just like a dolmio stirring, chopped up bacon and brie cheese. And I've got a glass of wine and it actually needs a top up. But look at that, it just looks amazing. I cannot wait to eat it. It's now time for some Ben & Jerry's cookie dough ice cream. Bit of a magazine and James Bond. And James Bond time. Lou's request. Guys, I'm not going to get Lou into it, but it does genuinely laugh in life because Lou doesn't really want to be in the vlog. Lou, I'll get the top of your head in. I've got I've got your head your hair in don't move I look over to Lou all the time like wherever we are in life and Lou is always watching random videos on in on on Facebook like just random videos earlier on he was watching the girl the, the girl with the longest hair in the world gets it cut like this is if you saw Lou in real life he's this big one sec this big strong guy like tall as anything and he's watching the world's longest woman with the longest hair getting it cut now Lou what are you watching now some woman like preaching life like, I look over to him like he's watching Cardi B what are you watching Cardi B for I'm not dissing you, I'm not dissing you darling, I'm just, it just makes me laugh every time I look over to you, you're always watching some Jeez, random video. You just need to get into YouTube darling, because YouTube's where it's at, you know what I mean? Not Facebook videos. It's half past 11, I'm just switching everything off, because we are about to go to bed. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Um, I've ended up doing so much different like vlogs and different type styled videos since coming here. Ignore my roots, like literally I was in, in contact today with my hairdresser to get my hair fixed because we can't go to our appointment which is this week. So um, my next appointment I managed to get in was like the 25th of February so I'm hoping that'll go fast because <gasps> look at these roots. I'll just embrace the darker hair until I get the blonde back. <laughs> But anyway guys, I will catch you later. I hope you, I was about to say, I hope you have a good night's sleep, but that makes no sense because you can watch this anytime. But yeah, thank you very much for watching guys. I hope you click the subscribe button if you just found this video and give it a big thumbs up because it makes me know that you like these vlogs because the vlogs don't get as much like love as the sit down videos. So make sure you give it a big thumbs up so I know that you like these types of videos. And if you don't, maybe I'll stop vlogging. No, I'm not gonna stop vlogging because I love it. <laughs> thank you very much for watching, bye.